Hey guys, it's Famous Criminals, and this episode is sponsored by Adam and Eve. And no, it's not a Christian dating website. They sell sex toys, paddles, whips, sex machines, 50 shades of gray, blindfolds, and listen, I have 30,000 subscribers, and I know at least a few of you are sick fucks that might be into this type of shit. So if you are, just click the affiliate link. Let's just say you buy a penis pump, then I I get 10%, something like that. So make sure to buy all of these, put it on your Christmas list. You don't have to buy it for yourself. You could give it to somebody as a gift. All right, so I asked if y'all would rather watch wheelchair basketball or the WNBA, and most of you said wheelchair. So I'll be showing highlights throughout this video. Today we are talking about meticulous, more commonly known as the Tommy Wiseau of Instagram rappers. It's not true, it's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. He's been making music for 20 years, not just because he wants to be famous, but because he has something inside of him. What exactly is inside of Meticulous? It could be one of the plugs that you get from Adam and Eve. He used to do festivals with his band Futuristic Diner, then he went solo, just like Justin Timberlake. Now this man is 36 years old and refuses to give up his dream to become a rapper. His mom tells him that she'll cut him off if he doesn't get a real job, but Meticulous keeps trying. They laughed when he said he was going to make it, but after paying 80 American dollars, he secured a feature with popular white rapper Fly Soldier. 80 dollars is a lot. Now Fly Soldier took forever to make the song, which begs the question, why he put zero effort into anything? Thing. He's not actually a rapper. Now Fly Soldier just pocketed the $80 and Meticulous got mad and he confronted Fly while wearing a ski mask. Meticulous also contacted Green Hat and John Pata to yell at Fly Soldier for him and tell him that you can't just pocket somebody's hard earned money. Fly started to work on the song. Now Fly had a hard time writing the verse because he's not actually a rapper. A real rapper can do the 16 bars in an afternoon. It took Fly 6 months to supply the verse. The song they made together is called Sticks and Stones. It has a very pro LGBT message. I went to my local sandwich shop and I tried to order an LGBT and apparently they didn't have it. Now the song is pro gay. It's saying you can bully me all you want but I'm proud of who I am. Meticulous isn't gay but Fly Soldier, he is racist against the gay community. But let's listen to this banger. You might be tripping on some dick if you think I'm fun to listen to a hater. Oh, you think you really like that must be playing. Oh, little nigga, man, I've been like that for the minute. I don't give a fuck how you feel, a nigga, bitch, I'm really in the field with them choppers. They gonna cut them niggas up, I swear to God. Sticks and stones, oh, you tryna hurt me. Oh, baby girl, I'm tryna work you. You looking better than a bitch, I'm tryna see what you want. Oh, do you feel me? A nigga's gonna have to try a little bit harder, this hate Sticks and stones, respect my bones, but words will never hurt me. They bring nothing by. It's kind of like what Macklemore did with this same love song from 10 years ago. If you're super progressive, then people in charge are going to turn you into a hero. Now, Meticulous part was pretty catchy, but Fly Soldiers was trash, just like all of his music. He didn't rhyme anything. Now, the music video is currently sitting at 287 views. If you ever secure a feature from Fly, just know what to expect. Now, after he made the song with Fly, he made one with Enzo. Now, I can't make any jokes jokes about Enzo because he has a rare condition called vaginitis and making fun of people with disabilities is not cool. Now Meticulous would drop another song with Lil Jitman. He apparently paid Lil Jitman two grand and was pissed that Lil Jitman supplied eight bars instead of 16. Now for two grand you can get an actual touring rapper. I think Dizzy Wright only charges one grand. Same with Chris Webby or Young Wicked. Like an established touring rapper will charge one 
one or two grand for a feature. Lil Jitman doesn't even have a fan base. You might as well put that two grand in a blender. The song did get 115 views, so I guess it was worth it. Now Lil Perk reached out to Meticulous and said he thought it was terrible what Lil Jitman did and that he'll make a song with them in exchange for money. Meticulous sent Perk money and Perk just never delivered the feature. He got ripped off. Now after that, Meticulous reached out to Brick Boy Dior, gave him money for a feature. Six months later, Brick hasn't delivered it either. There's one more person took my money. So I'm like, you know, originally I wanted to work with Brick Boy because Brick Boy... I don't know. He's got that Florida energy. I'm just looking to do shows. I'm just looking to go wherever these guys are at, wherever people are at, do three or four fucking songs, rip the fucking stage down with some hard-ass shit. I'll do a song with Brick Boy. Contact Brick Boy. He just was going through some shit. He said, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was wondering why you did Jitman and not me. And I said, well, here's the story. So anyways, make the song, throw in bricks, send it to Brick Boy. That's been five, six months ago. Finally, I got a hold of Brick Boy a couple weeks ago, and he said, yeah, 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 I'm on it, I'm on it. Send me the money. I'm like, bro, I've already paid you. And we you know, read the text above. You, 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 What are you talking about? Hasn't responded since. So I'm like, all right, I understand the music game now. Some people are going to screw you. Some people aren't. And you just hope that maybe you can make some good music. Because the ultimate goal here is to make music with people that I think have a future. According to Meticulous, out of all these people, the only trustworthy one was Enzo, and they're supposed to release an EP together in September. So Meticulous is like Tommy, and Enzo is like Mark. Hey, I think Perk stole my money. He's never gonna do m of my verse. Hey, I think Perk stole my money. He's never gonna do m of my verse. Betrayed me. I fed up with his world. So we, so I'm just gonna change my verse and I'm gonna diss on him too, I guess. Oh wait, I do. You do have a song with Fly. I did see you with Vogue. I, yeah, I don't know. You know, he's not Enzo. He doesn't have the, the talent Enzo has. I mean, let's not give him. Hey, what, what was what I'm was so your happy? I had you as my best again? friend. Uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. So my overall opinion, he wanted to make songs with people featured on Famous Criminals. I'm surprised he hasn't made one with Trappy or Ghost World. I think Meticulous should try to find a different scene of people to collaborate with because the Jitmans, the Perks, they're nobodies. These guys should be happy somebody takes them seriously and wants to make music with them. Ripping somebody off, taking their money, is just letting people know that you do bad business. Like I said, Meticulous has probably spent over five, six grand on these guys, and with that kind of money, you can get a feature from a relevant rapper, so he should try that. Anyway, best of luck to Meticulous. I'm out.